Today we're going to be hanging an IV piggy bath with Terry Smith. It's going to be an antibiotic. And I was in an assessment with Ms. Smith this morning and she does have IV fluids running. I'm going to take out my medication administration record. Okay, and then comparing Terry Smith, medical record number 589-135-1321. Date of birth, 1-2-1952, and she is allergic to morphine. She came in with post-op sepsis and wound dehiscence, and she had had an exploratory um, laparotomy seven days ago for an appendectomy. She is NPO on bed rest, and I can see here that they've sent blood cultures, and she has a liter of 0.9 sodium chloride at 125 milliliters per hour running and that's what I saw this morning. And her uh, IV piggyback antibiotic that she's going to be receiving is ampicillin 500 milligrams, IV piggyback every six hours times six doses. This is going to be her first dose of ampicillin. So again, I'm gonna compare my medication administration record, ampicillin, correct drug, 500 milligrams, correct dose, IV piggyback is the correct route every six hours and 9 a.m. is today and that's the correct time and then I am going to be doing the correct documentation. Now the physician did not write the rate of infusion on the ampicillin so I'm going to look that up in my drug book or I will call the pharmacy and verify how quickly that should run over. Okay, so okay, I found out the information and that needs to be infused over 30 minutes. And then I'm going to be um, thinking about, um, I know that she is allergic to morphine, but I also want to make sure that she doesn't have any sensitivities to tape or latex. I know she does have a right forearm IV that looked patent this morning, and that the fluid that was running was normal saline. Ampicillin usually is um, administered in a saline solution, and I did have to check compatibility, and the ampicillin that I'm going to be giving is compatible with the normal saline that Ms. Smith has running. Um, then think about other things that I need and the planning that I need to do. So ampicillin, um, she is not allergic to any of the psyllins, penicillin, no allergy to that. Um, I am going to make sure that she is aware of um, any teaching that needs to be done. So because it's her first dose, I would want to stay in the room with her just to make sure that she doesn't have a reaction and that she needs to report any itching or burning or irritation to that site. I want to make sure that the 500 milligrams is in the safe dose range. I know she's getting it because she was septic uh, postoperatively. And then I just want to verify any other side effects or things that I may need to look at. So then I am going to gather my equipment and what I will need is my medication administration record. I'm going to need a tubing label. I'm going to need alcohol wipes. I'm going to need an IV piggyback or a secondary medication infusion set. And I'm going to need my medication. And this is Terry Smith's medication for. And again, Terry Smith and the medical record number and date of birth. And I am looking for ampicillin, 500 milligrams. Then I'm going to wash my hands. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do my first two checks for my medication. This is for Terry Smith, correct medical record number, correct date of birth. She is allergic to morphine. And this is ampicillin, 500 milligrams, IV piggyback, every six hours. It's to be infused over 30 minutes. It's not expired and the actual saline that it's in, 50 milliliters of saline that is in, is not expired either. Okay, so I have the correct patient, correct drug, correct dose, correct route, correct mm -hmm. time, and then I will be providing the correct documentation. My second check, Terry Smith, correct medical record number, correct date of birth. She's allergic to morphine. This does not have morphine. Ampicillin, 500 milligrams, IV piggyback every six hours, and I'm starting it at nine, so we'll put, be putting it on a nine-three schedule. And that's times six doses, first dose. It's not expired, and the solution is not expired, and I'm going to be infusing this over 30 minutes, and there's no um, precipitate or condensation in the um, piggyback here, okay? 
So then I'm going to need to be doing a dose um, a dosage calculation because I'm going to be running my IV piggyback ampicillin without a pump. And so I'm going to need to calculate the drop rate. And the tubing has a drop factor of 10 drops per milliliter. And what I'm giving is 50 milliliters over 30 minutes. When I do that dosage calculation, it comes out that I'm going to be delivering 16 drops per minute, approximately, to Ms. Smith. And so I can calculate that that would be approximately four drops in 15 seconds when I bring it to the room. Okay, so I am going to hang my piggy bag. And I'm going to clamp my tubing. Okay, and then keeping my spike sterile, I'm going to take off the cap, both the piggyback, and being very careful not to contaminate the spike, I'm pushing and twisting up, okay, and then I'm going to fill my drip chamber approximately a third of the way full, and then I have a garbage can or some uh, receptacle to put any extra fluid in, and very slowly with the roller clamp, I'm going to allow the medication to prime the tubing. Try to get all. Okay, and I'm priming through the end to the cap. Okay, so then I double check and I do not have any air bubbles in my tubing. And I'm going to put a label on this. My hospital policy says that this tubing will be changed every 24 hours. So I put on today's date and then I put on tomorrow's date at the same time for changing. And my initials. Okay. And then I'm going to do my last check. Again, this is Miss Terry Smith, correct medical record number, correct date of birth. She's allergic to morphine. This is ampicillin. It's 500 milligrams in 50 milliliters of sodium chloride. It's an IV piggyback to be administered every six hours, and it's going to be at 9-3 schedule. This is her first of six doses. It's going to be infused over 30 minutes. My drip rate is 16 drops per minute. The um, medication is not expired, and the sodium chloride um, packaging is not expired and I am ready to go into the room. So I'm gonna throw away my garbage. And then I'm gonna take my medication administration record, my alcohol wipes. The hanger that comes with the tubing is very important because because of gravity, I need to lower my saline solution. Okay, then I'm walking into the room. Good morning. Hang up my piggyback. I'm going to wash my hands. Good morning, Ms. Smith. It's Kim again. Okay, and I'm back with your antibiotic, the ampicillin, like I had mentioned earlier. These are really big. Okay. And can you tell me your name, Terry Smith? Okay, great. And your medical record number. I'm going to double check. Very good. And your date of birth? One, two, 1952. Great. And what allergies do you have, Miss Smith? Oh, just morphine. Okay. Do you have any tape sensitivities? No. Okay. Very good. Well, I'm just going to take a look at your IV site here, and what I have for you is the pen, it's the ampicillin, and um, I it is new antibiotic for you. So I am going to stay with you for a little bit after I start infusing it. And what I'd like you to do is tell me if you have any. Um, Call me right away if you have any itching or burning at the site or any problems at all. Do you have any questions for me? No? Okay. I'm going to raise you up a little bit just so I can get at your IV site a little bit better. And I'm just going to assess this site and I can see that it's clear and there's 
it no inflammation or infiltration? Is it burning or any other any other problems with it? No. Okay, it looks very good and it is dripping appropriately. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp off the current saline solution that you have running. And then I am going to lower the saline so that gravity takes the antibiotic in first. And then I'm going to alcohol wipe off the distal port. Okay, and this is clamped and it is all primed, no air. And I'm just going to connect it, keeping that port sterile since I cleaned it. And now I'm going to open the antibiotic all the way up, the tubing for the secondary all the way up and I'm going to manipulate the flow rate and control the flow rate with the primary tubing. Okay and we said four drops in 15 seconds. So we've got one, two, three, four and 15 seconds, okay? All right, and so I'm going to leave the roller clamp and do you have any questions for me at all? The site looks very good. Okay, I'm gonna put your head back down. Here's your call light. Do you need anything else? Can I bring you anything? No, okay, great. I'm just gonna clean up a little bit and I'm gonna stay in here just be kind of close so you have you can call me if you need anything, okay? And um, I will be back to check on you very shortly, okay? And wash my hands and leave the room. And then what I'm going to be documenting is that at 9 a.m. 0900, I hung ampicillin 500 milligrams IV piggyback, um, and this is times one, the first dose and my initials and my signature. And then I'll go back in and check on Ms. Smith and check her IV site. And when I go back in, after the piggyback is completed, I have to recalculate the 125 milliliter per hour normal saline infusion that she's receiving. So I have to do that drip rate calculation and then I'm going to go back and readjust the roller clamp for the 0.9 sodium chloride to be infused at 125 milliliters per hour.